Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for you. So for your key to the week, you have the hanged man. This is a week for you to take it easy. It's a week for you to rest. It's a week for you to take it slow. This is not a week for you to do anything fast and furious. It's a time of reassessment, reevaluation, but this is also a card of true spirituality. Remember Saturn, your ruler, is coming back into Capricorn. In fact, the day that I'm recording these, Wednesday the 1st, Saturn moves back into Capricorn. So you will be feeling this, right? You will get that sort of... Um, <clears throat> You'll be really thinking about what it is that you need to wrap up, what it is that you need to tie up, and ultimately, what is it that you haven't quite given all of the time and effort and energy that you needed to, that you are now ready to see through to completion. For your actions and options, you have the justice card, right? So look at that. What is it that you are ready, willing, and able to commit to at this moment in time? This is about you doing it properly. It's kind of like saying, right, whatever it is that you're focused on, whatever it is that you're doing, your actions and options, this week you are going to have to commit to it. You can't be half-assed. You can't, uh, you know, do a little bit. You can't, you're going to have to really show up in some way, shape, or form. This week you are going to have to commit to something and be in it for the long haul. For your communications and conversations you have the hermit card so we're two for two right now and your hermit card is always where you withdraw from things so this could be a very quiet week for you this could be a week where you are very reflective maybe you're feeling more pensive than usual maybe uh, this week you are going back to the drawing board in some way shape or form you could be saying to yourself right you know what this is, you know, this is the second half of the year. This is, you know, that balance point now where we step into wherever it is that we're going from here. What does the rest of the year hold in store for me? And ultimately, this card could see you really putting together some sort of a track, some sort of a plan. Maybe this is you very focused on where it is that you want to go. And this is where you're going to start to do that whole process of, right, who's going to be able to help me with this? Uh, what is it that I can do on my own? Uh, how much of it you know how how uh, how much um how much of it can I do on my own? And ultimately, how much should I do on my own? This is about you asking yourself what you need to outsource, what it is that you're already overqualified to do. It's gonna see you really putting together some sort of plan to maximize the rest of your year, which I really like for you guys, but it's gonna be very quiet uh, on the communication front. And I actually feel like that's exactly how you're gonna want it this week. For your money and materials, you have the Seven of Swords. This is not a great week for money, guys. Just be very, very cautious and very careful about what you do when it comes to your money, when it comes to your finances. If there is something that you're having a contract with when it comes to money, materials, finances, if you're making a big purchase, this is probably not the week for it. If you are buying something uh, used or secondhand, um, just expect it not to be what it says on the label, all right? This could be one of those things where it's like, oh, you know, you thought you were getting a great deal and actually when you get there, you see that it's like some bang down, beat up piece of crap, whatever it is that you're buying. This is just a week to be really cautious with your money. This is a, especially anything that you have to sign a contract for, especially if it's something to do with works on the home or something that you're paying somebody to do like a service, uh, just be sure that this person is absolutely qualified to do what it is that they're saying they're going to do. It's something that you really want to be aware of. Um, for your physical health, this is probably going to be a week where you, it might be ligaments, uh, all kinds of things like that, all of your connective tissues that you want to look after. Um, 
whatever you're doing, do it safely. If you're lifting, if you're bending, if you're twisting, like things that seem like common common knowledge, common sense. But this week with the Seven of Swords, you could really twist something this week and you could end up feeling it for a while to go forward. Now, again, I'm not a medical ad advisor. I can't give you medical advice. I can just tell you what comes up through the cards. Um, when it comes to your home as well, this is whether you are single, whether you're partnered, this is a week to close ranks, right? Whatever it is that you're dealing with, we deal with it internally, all right? For your love and relations, you have the Ten of Wands. Um, so here's the thing. I think for those of you that are partnered, it does look like you guys are going through something or processing something, but you're doing it together. And again, I stand by what I said just before. Whatever it is that is going on in-house, this is not, unless it's a family member uh, and one that you trust at that, not like, you know, Aunt Sally twice removed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I, I literally have no idea what I'm about to say until it leaves my mouth. Um, <laughs> oh, rah! Um, anyway, yeah, whatever, sorry. Um, just this week, it does feel like we're, you're closing ranks, right? You're, whatever it is that you're dealing with, you're dealing with it in-house. For those of you that are single, um, yeah, I've got to be honest, this doesn't look like the week where you're welcoming somebody in because the chances are you're not going to be getting the full story. And it may very well be if you are inviting them into your home, it's not going to go well. So if you're inviting people over, you know, maybe someone says, oh, you know, I'll come, can I bring a friend? The answer is absolutely and unequivocally no. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up for you. Take care and I'll see you soon.